This is Tradeflow News, bringing you relevant news and insights from around the world. Tradeflow News, enabling trade for SMEs and economies worldwide. These are some of the key topics that we will be looking into in today's program. First, let's take a look at the overnight headlines which are impacting the commodity markets. China's Agriculture Ministry has launched a campaign to lower the content of corn and soy meal in animal feed, according to a document issued this week, which could have repercussions for the global grain trade. The document, sent to animal feed producers and other government departments, outlines a plan for nutrition experts to draw up guidelines by the end of this month on ways corn and soy meal could be replaced by alternative grain, three industry sources with knowledge of the matter told Reuters. Customs data on Thursday showed corn imports in the first two months of the year rose 400% to 4.8 million tonnes, while wheat and sorghum imports also surged. The European Union has frozen plans to blacklist more senior executives at Turkey's state-owned Turkish Petroleum Corporation, TPAO, four diplomats said, in the clearest sign that a diplomatic offensive by Ankara this year is bearing fruit. EU leaders in December had proposed asset freezes and travel bans over Turkey's unauthorized drilling activities for natural gas in disputed waters in the eastern Mediterranean, although they did not specify individuals. The EU had also agreed to weigh tougher economic sanctions at a summit on March 25-26, after a difficult year in which Turkish President Tayyip Erdogan expressed publicly his hope that protests in France would topple President Emmanuel Macron. Moving on to the top news in the energy sector. Saudi Arabia's crude oil exports rose in January for a seventh straight month to the highest since April 2020, according to the Joint Organization's Data Initiative. Jody website on Thursday. Crude exports from the world's biggest oil exporter rose to 6.582 million barrels per day, BPD, in January from December's 6.495 million barrels of oil per day. Total crude and oil products exports rose to 7.75 million barrels of oil per day in January from 7.71 million barrels of oil per day a month earlier. Saudi's crude output, meanwhile, climbed to 9.103 million barrels of oil per day in January from 8.98 million barrels of oil per day in December. Energy Group BP aims to build Britain's largest hydrogen plant by 2030, it said on Thursday, as part of the country's push to boost use of the fuel and cut greenhouse gas emissions. The Teesside plant in northern England will have capacity of up to 1 gigawatt, GW, of so-called blue hydrogen, about a fifth of Britain's target of 5 gigawatts of hydrogen capacity by the end of the decade. Blue hydrogen is produced by converting natural gas into hydrogen and storing the CO2 emissions from its production. BP has begun a feasibility study on the project to explore technologies that could capture up to 98% of carbon emissions from the hydrogen production process. Next, we have the top news in metal markets. Copper climbed on Wednesday on indications of higher demand for the metal, though gains were capped by rising inventories and as the dollar firmed ahead of a US Federal Reserve statement. Three-month copper on the London Metal Exchange, LME, rose 0.7% to $9,024.50 per tonne in official trading, having touched a 9 one half year peak of $9,617 last month. Data from top metals consumer China showed stronger than expected industrial growth in the first two months of 2021, while new lending in the country fell less than expected in February. China's aluminium imports in the first two months of 2021 rose 150.7% from a year earlier, customs data showed on Thursday, as overseas metal booked at favorable prices continued to flow into the world's biggest aluminium market. Imports of unwrought aluminium and products totaled 455,128 tons in January and February, the General Administration of Customs said, up from about 181,500 tons a year earlier. In separate tables, Customs gave the January import figure as 308,458 tons, up 262% year-on-year, and the February figure as 146,671 tons up 52.3%. The December total was 265,569 tons. We will now look at the top news in the agricultural sector. 
Consultancy Strategy Grains on Thursday lowered its monthly forecast of soft wheat exports from the European Union and Britain in the 2020-21 season by 900,000 tonnes to 25.2 million to take account of a drop in demand, notably from China. Hefty Chinese purchases this season had fueled a rally in European wheat prices to more than seven-year highs late last month, also supported by an export tax on Russian wheat exports. Prices have since paired some of the gains. European exports have seen potential export demand slip away in recent weeks due to a lack of competitiveness and because China is buying less French wheat than originally expected, the French consultancy said in a report. That is all for today's news on commodity market. Stay tuned to Tradeflow News as we continue to provide you with more updates. You can also follow us on Twitter at TradeflowTV1 which allows you to watch out program on your mobile device or desktop receive information from there.